What's happening, people? It's James Beardwell, the Witton Town FC superfan on Witton Town FC TV. The Bossic League Division 1 North Action is back. It's a Saturday. Witton Town are at home to Potter's Bar Town. I'm now officially near the Village Glass Stadium and Witton Town Football Club. And I'm really buzzing for the first league game of the season. And I really, really can't wait. And I'm really confident that Whitton Town can do really, really well. And I'm really confident that we can win our first league game of the season at home against Potters Bar Town. And I'm really pumped for the first game of the season to get ready to cheer on my beloved football team, Whitton Town. And I remember we played Potters Bar Town home in the way. It was several years back. It was definitely in the Ryman League Division 1 North. And I remembered years and years ago, I think it was in the 2006-2007 season, it was in that two-all draw away at Potter's Bar Town. And that was when Ollie Murr scored for Whitton Town in the two-all draw. And that was when Ken O'Donnell was manager of Whitton Town that year. I'm now arrived at the Village Glass Stadium at Whitton Town FC, getting ready to cheer on my beloved football team, Whitton Town against Potters Bar Town in the first Bostic League Division One North match this season, 2017-18. I am really buzzing for this. I really can't wait to cheer on Whitton Town. I'm really excited for this season because I believe Whitton Town could do much better and I think we could do really, really well against Potters Bar Town today. But I'm going to keep up my amazing Whitton Town support throughout the 90 minutes, no matter what happens against Potters Bar Town, because it would give the Whitton Town players a massive, massive lift with my fantastic Whitton Town support. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sparrow Whitton Town for today's Bestie League Division 1 between Whitton Town and Potters Bar. The half-time score, Whitton Town nil, Potters Bar Town nil. The first half we played alright, it's just we had the chances we could have been one nil up. But Elliot Ronto's free kick was a fantastic chance, we curled it over and it went just over the bar. And it was a really great free kick from Elliot Ronto. But we had a good spell in the first half. We had some chances. But we could have been 1 0 up against Potters Bar Town. And let's hope the second half will be more of the same. Yes! To the Witton Town 1-0, to the Witton Town 1-0. See, why have I told you? It's 1-0, Witton Town 1, Potters Bar Town 1. No, no. Oh! Good effort. Two one to Potter's Bar. The final score: Whitton Town one, Potter's Bar Town two. What can I say? I am totally speechless, to be honest with you. In the second half, we was leading 1-0 from Aussie's Whitton Town goal that led to 1-0. And then five minutes later, it went to 1-1. And then it gets to the last minute, late, late defeat into that 2-1 defeat to Potters Bar Town. I am absolutely speechless and I am absolutely 
gobsmacked with a late, late defeat. But I had to give full credit to Potter's Bar Town. They battled well against us. And I can't believe we conceded a very, very late defeat. It happened exactly like last season, like it was today, to concede a very, very late defeat to Potter's Bar Town. But the support was amazing, but I have to admit when it went to 1-1, the support was completely flat. But the support needs to be improved as well. But let's hope Whitton Town bounce back to winning ways away at Bowles and Pitsy on Tuesday, the 15th of August. Keep the faith, Town.